In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a Power Automate solution that can quickly look up and validate VAT tax codes in your financial process automation flows. When a VAT code is entered, this action will first return a Boolean determining if the code is valid. If it's a valid code, the action will return the business name and the business address associated with that code, and if it's invalid, the invalid Boolean response can be used to easily divert the flow and get any potential issues resolved immediately. To demonstrate, I'm first going to quickly create an instant cloud flow and give my flow a name. There are obviously a lot of complex ways to design a flow with VAT code validation in mind, but since my objective is to show you the basic inputs and outputs, I'm going to use a simple manually triggered flow for my example. Once I'm on the flow diagram page, I'm clicking new step and typing Cloudmersive into the search bar. From here, I'm browsing the list of available Cloudmersive connectors and selecting the data validation connector with the blue-gray logo. Selecting this option brings me directly to the actions list, but if it's your first time using this, you'll be asked to include authentication details first, including your Cloudmersive API key. While all our connectors say premium, they can be used for free with a free tier API key, which you can get by registering a free account on our website. Moving on, now that I'm on the actions list, I'm searching for look up a VAT code and selecting that option from the list. As you can see, the connector action only has one request parameter, and that's just the VAT code itself. For this test, I'm going to use a simple VAT code I sourced online. This code is invalid, so it won't pull up any associated business information, but it's technically formatted the way an Australian VAT code would be, so the action will accept it and allow this flow to run. Just so you know, if you run this flow with a code using improper VAT syntax, the flow will simply fail at this stage and won't attempt to return any details at all. Now that I've entered in my VAT code, I'm ready to save and test the flow. After my flow finishes saving, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner, confirming my connections, and finally running the flow. This action only takes a few seconds to run, and once it finishes, I can open the response body to see what information it could and couldn't give me. Looking in the outputs, we can see that it separated the country code from the VAT number, recognizing first and foremost that this is an Australian code. It then correctly identified that this is not a valid VAT number, so there wasn't any related business information it could provide. If one of your input VAT codes returns this type of result in our connector, you'll know right away there's an issue with the code, and you can easily take advantage of the invalid Boolean response to make sure anyone with a stake in this flow immediately knows there was an error. How you choose to share that information is totally up to you. As always, Power Automate will make it nice and simple to use the output information however you want. And with our test complete, we've reached the end of this flow. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a note in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe, and feel free to check out dozens of additional Cloudmersive connector demos on our channel.